Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, so we're in, uh, in the part B in Juz Ba, in Darasan, so Darif Ashr, the 13th uh, lesson. And uh, so now we're going to go over, we're going to go right into be ready with, with the, um, explain some of the notes in the index. So we're going to go right into the text, inshallah. Men ha'ula in fatayat, fatayatu ya maryamu. Who are these? Young woman, O Maryam. Men ha'ula'i al fatayatu. So fatayat is the plural of fatatun, fatatun, a young uh, woman, a young girl. Okay. Ya Maryamu. Hunna zamilati. They are my classmates. Hunna zamilati. A akhawatun hunna. Are they sisters? A akhawatun hunna. Naam hunna akhawatun. Yes, they are sisters. Naam hunna akhawatun. Men abu hunna. Who are their? Who is their father? Men abu abu hunna. So, so notice hunna is being used. This is the uh, plural for they, for the uh, feminine plural for they. I mean, for they, uh, for uh, women or girls. Yeah, you know, I mean, and you know, it takes the place of whom. And if you're talking about a group of women or a group of girls, you're going to use hunna, hunna. Men abu hunna, who is their father? Abu hunna, a sheikhu bilal. Their father is a sheikh bilal. Okay. Ummu hunna, ustadati. Their mother, ummu hunna, ustadati, is my ustada, my female professor. Aina beitu hunna. Where is their home, their house? Aina beitu hunna. Beituhunna Karibun Minal Madrasati. Their house is close to the school. Beituhunna Karibun Minal Mad Minal Madrasati. Okay. So Tamarinu exercises. Habul al Mubtada fi Jumun al Atiati Ida Jamain Kamahua Mwadda Hun fin Midal. So change or convert. The uh, uh, subject and mubtada in the following sentences to jama to plural as it is made clear or clarified explained in the example. Mithalun. So the example. Hadhi bintum. This is a girl. Haulai banatun. These are girls. So over here you have your. They give you your plural forms, and all you're doing is you're changing. So you're changing it to the plural form, and you also have to change hadhi to haulai. So remember haulai these. It works for, this is Ismaili Sharan in the Qareeb. You know, when you're uh, indicating something that is close, it, and it works for both uh, genders, for, for male and female. Okay, when you're talking about a group uh, of people. Okay, so, Hadihi bintun, haulai banatun. Hadihi taribatun, this is a female student. Haulai taribatun, these are female students. Hadihi mudarrisatun, this is a female teacher. Haulai mudarrisatun. These are female teachers. Hadihi tobibatun. This is a female doctor. Haulai tobibatun. These are female doctors. Hadihi muslimatun. This is a, a Muslim, a female Muslim. Haulai muslimatun. These are muslimat, female Muslims. Haulai muslimatun. Hadihi zawjatun. Hadihi zawjatun. This is a wife. Haulai zawjatun. These are wives. Haulai zawjatun. Hadihi ukhtun. This is a sister. Haulai akhawatun. These are sisters. Haulai akhawatun. Hadihi fatatun. This is a uh, young woman. Fatatun. Haulai fatayatun. These are young women. Haulai fatayatun. Hadihi jadidatun, this is new, or you know, you mean referring to her, she's new. Haulai jududun, they are new. Uh, these, I'm sorry, these are new. Haulai jududun, and notice judud works for male and female. Jududun, okay. Hadihi kabiratun, this one is big. Many or yani could be an older. Kabiratun, hadihi kabiratun. Haulai kibarun, so kibarun, it, can, it works for male and female. Female. Kibar, these are big or older, the elders. Okay. Hadihi Sagiratun. 
this is um, one is uh, small. Haulai sigarun, sigarun. These are small. Okay, works for male and female. Hadi tawiratun. This one is tall. Haulai tiwadun. Haulai tiwadun. These are tall. Okay. Ikra waktu. Read and write. Haulai ikhwati wa haulai akhwati. So these are my brothers and these are my sisters. Okay, so you notice the difference. Ikhwati, so ikhwa, you know, ikhwatun would be brothers, akhawatun, sisters, akhawat. Haulai ikhwati wa haulai akhawati. These are my brothers and these are my sisters. Men haulai fatayatu. Who are these young women? Haulai banatun mudarrisati. They are the daughters of the uh, female teacher, the Mudarisati. Okay. Haula and Fatayatu Zamilati. These uh, young women are my classmates, my colleagues. Okay. Abu Hunna Tobibun wa Ummu Hunna Mudarisatun. Their father is a doctor and their mother is a teacher, a female teacher. Okay. Abu Hunna Tobibun wa Ummu Hunna Mudarisatun. Ainan. Where are the new female students? So notice Judd can also be used for male and female. Where are the new female students? The Habna Ilan Maktabati. So this Yani we have the what's uh, noon and nispa. I'm sorry, noon uh, noon and niswa. Okay. The uh, the noon of you could say femininity, um, you know, the female um, feminine noon. Yani, so this is the past tense for they feminine. Okay, so remember there's a difference. You have whom, which is they masculine, and hunna is they feminine. And so it's same thing when we conjugate into the verbs in the past tense. Uh, for the masculine, it was dahabu for uh, for men. You know, they went. For women, it's dahabna, dahabna. So you just put a sukun. Uh, over the ba and put this noon with a fata at the end and it becomes they went the habna idan maktabati they went to the library aina banatuka ye oh sorry aina banatuki so you look at the context aina buna banatuki ki why because the person we're addressing ya ammati oh my paternal aunt where are your daughters oh my paternal aunt so basically where are my female cousins at so it, it, remember, it's going to be, you can't say, don't say, but like I did originally say, because you're addressing a woman. Okay, so that's the kath. But a kesra is when you're addressing a woman. They are in the kitchen. They are in the kitchen. Muslimatun na'am. Are these nurses Muslims? Are they Muslim women? Yes, they are. Okay. Ahaula and Mumaridatu Muslimatun. Haulai Tobibatun. These are female doctors. Okay. As wedge um as wa juhunna mudarisuna. Their husbands are teachers. As wa juhunna mudarisunna. Men hadihin maratu. Who is this woman? So remember, when it's um, when it's indefinite, when it's nakira, it's imratun. But when it's uh, definite, it becomes mara and maratu. Men hadihin same word, just the uh, the vowel signs get changed. So men hadihin maratu. Who is this woman? He is zaujatu at tobib and jadid. She is the wife of the new doctor. Who is Zaujat Tobib and Jadidi? Okay, so remember the Taw is from the Haruf uh, al so connect the uh, term of Buddha to the Taw. Um, he is Zaujat Tobib and Jadidi. She is the wife of the new doctor. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay so we're addressing a woman, so you look for that. So here, so you you, oh, you would not say Kaf, uh, you would not pronounce it with a Feta, you pronounce it with a Kesra because you're addressing. Yeah. Um, oh no. Well, actually, uh, no. It's, yeah, Osama. So Osama's. I bet is a masculine word. Okay. So let's let's change that. Clear that. 
So remember, there are some masculine uh, names that uh, have a tab marbuta ending. This is Ya Usama too. Okay, Ya Usama. So even though it has this tab marbuta, it is it is still a masculine name. So it's one of those exceptions to the rules. Abanatuka, so ka, because we're addressing Usama. Fid madrasa tatmanawiyati, Ya Usama too. Are your daughters in the secondary school, O Usama? Ba'dohunna fin madrasa. Okay, so it's going to continue. Let's uh, clear everything here so we can move, move, it, uh, move it down. Okay. So he said, Ba'dohunna fin madrasa tatanawiyati. So some of them are in secondary school. O ba'dohunna fin madrasa tatanawiyati. And some of them are in intermediate or um, middle school. Yeah. So remember in the previous lesson we had ba'dahum, some of them, and now it's ba'dahunna. So you're just saying some of them feminine. So you're talking about his. Okay, we're referring to the banat of Usama. We're referring to his daughters. Okay. Alaka banat on Yalayla. Do you have uh, daughters, Olayla? Naam li banat on kibarun. So so here's referring to age. We I have older daughters. Naam, li banatun kibarun. Wahunna toribatun bin jami'ati. And they are students at the university. Wahunna toribatun bin jami'ati. Okay, so next one. Men ha'ula in nisa tiwalu. Who are these tall women? Okay, so remember tiwal, yani these uh, sifa, yani for, uh, you know, for height and size, they can be the same. Um, they, uh, in the plural, they work for masculine and feminine. Okay. Men ha'ula nisa tiwaru. Who are these tall women? Hunna tobibatun min America. They are um, female doctors. Tobibatun min America from America. Tobibatu kharajna min mushtashfa. The female doctors went out or they left you know, from the hospital. So notice we have kharajna. So this is um, hunna. This is the plural form in the past, the Maldi. Yani, um, this uh, for uh, they. Yani, it's the verb, you know, when we conjugate for they, for hunna in the past, we have to put a sukun on the last letter, the vam and fin, and we add this noon and niswa, this uh, female noon, you could call it, with a, with a fatha. So it goes from, because the asal is kharaja, he went. So just put a, uh, you know, put a sukun on the, on the last, on the, on the jim, and a, uh, put a noon with a fatha, and it becomes. Kharajna meaning they went, yani female, they feminine went or left, yani they left, uh, exited Kharajna min al uh, They exited from the Mustashfa, from the hospital. Iqra al Midan, dhumma hawadan jumal al atiya, mithlahu. So read the example, then change the following sentences like it. Okay. Zainabu kharajat min al So this is the first time we're, I think it's the first time we're seeing it in this exercise. So kharajat. This is how you um, uh, conjugate it for here in the past tense. Okay, here. So, so remember, let me put it here. Okay. Kharaja is he went. So he exited. Kharaja. So, in order to make it she went, or I'm sorry, she exited, she left. Then we just add this ta at the end and we put a sukun on it. Kharajat, kharajat. Zainabu kharajat min al Zainab, she exited or left from the class, min al Zainabu wa aminatu wa maryamu kharajna min al So why would, why would it be kharajna here? Because we're talking about, uh, this is a plural, three or more persons and they're female. So we have to use the fem the feminine um, past tense version of they, you know, hunna. And when we we uh, conjugate hunna, it, we you know remember we just put a sukun on the lem and fit, lem and fit, the last letter of the verb and a noon with a fetha at the end, and it becomes kharajna they feminine left or they exited. So and the reason why is it has to agree with the number of persons when it comes after the uh, the the fa'il, then it has to agree with it in, in gender and number. In this case, so we have Zain, so we started the sentence with Zainabu wa Aminatu wa Maryamu 
kharajna min al they went out or left from the class okay and mudarrisatu dhahabat ila al fasl so this actually is a misprint here this should be a, a sukun um on top of the ta here so the teacher the female teacher dhahabat she left or she went okay dhahabat um yeah she I'm sorry she went ila al fasl she went to the class and mudarrisatu dhahabat ila al fasl she went to the class Atoribatun Jadida to the new female student, Jalaset Fil Fosli. So Jalaset. So once again, tab with a sukun at the end. That's the that's the only difference. And it makes it uh you and that's how you conjugate it for he and the he in the past tense. Jalaset fil fosli. So the uh the new female student, she sat in the class. Okay. Um Bintu Muhammadin Dahabat Iran Madrasati. The daughter of Muhammad, she went to the school. Dahabat, uh, I'm sorry, bintu Muhammadin dahabat ila madrasati. She went to the school. Okay, so we got to do the same thing. Let me just clear that for right now. So remember, we have to so read the example. Iqra al midad, dhumma hawad al jumal al atiyata mithlahu. Then change or convert the following sentences like it. So, like an example, with Zainab, uh, Zainabu kharajat min fasli she went out from the class. Zainabu wa aminatu wa Maryamu kharajna min fasli So Zainab wa an an amina and Maryam they left out or from the class. So now we have to do the same thing here. So we have a mudarrisatu dahabat ila fasli she went to the class. So now we have to make it. Uh, we have to make it plural. So just to so you have to do it so it, so now it can't just be an mudarisa too because that's singular so we're going to make it um a mudarisa a mudarisa too okay the female teaches a mudarisa too and now we also have to change the verb to uh match the number of people that we're talking about and the, and the gender so that habit will be for you know she went uh, to the to the class, so now we have to make it they feminine went to the class. The habana either possibly. Okay. And so the next one was what was over. Okay, I thought about some jadida to jada set for the fasli. The new female students sat in the classroom. So now we just got to make taliba a uh, feminine plural. Tali. Toribatu, and the uh, uh, for the nat and the adjective also has to agree with the number, so we can't use jadida anymore because that's singular. So now it, it becomes an jududu, a toribata jududu, and we also got to change the verb, you know, from jalaset, she sat in the class, to they feminine sat, hunna, they sat in the class, so it'd be jalasna. Atolibat and Judadu Jalasna fil Fosli. Okay. And the next one. Okay, so we have been to Muhammad in Dahabat in a Madrasati. So the daughter of Muhammad, she, you know, Muhammad's daughter, she went to the school. So now we're gonna change it to Muhammad's daughters. So if you remember the plural is an irregular plural for bint. We're not gonna use the sound uh, feminine. Plural would be uh, exactly is going to become uh, banat banatu um, Muhammadan, and we can't use dahabat because dahabat means she went. So we also have to convert the verb to they feminine. They feminine went dahabna dahabna ilan madrasati. So banatu Muhammadan dahabna ilan madrasati. So, Ashir ila al-asma al-tariya bi ism isharatan lin qareeb hadhihi hadha hadhihi haula'i So, Ashir like Ashir means to like point and point out indicate um so the so what they want they want us to use uh what was called the ismu ishara lin qareeb so when you point out to something you know you indicate something you know like when you call it um uh, something's close 
you know, you, you would use hada or hadi, like, you know, hada qadam, hada kitabun, hadihi mintun, you know, hada waradun, haulai rijalun, haulai banatun. So these are the asma isharadun qari. These are the nouns, you could say, which are, are for uh, pointing out something which is close, okay? So you want to use it, you look at the uh, word, the following word that you're going to put that you're putting uh, this uh, ismul ishara in the uh, qarib in front of, and that's how you, you would decide which one you're going to use, you know, based on that. So here you have akhi, so that's masculine. So, of course, you would say hada akhi, this is my brother. Well, here we have ukhti, my sister. So we can't use hada because hada is indicating something masculine. So ukhti is my sister, so we have to use hadi, hadi ukhti. And then we have rijalun, it's a plural, so we can't use... You know, it's, it's masculine, so we still can't use hada because it's plural. Rijalun, men. So we use haulai rijalun. And next example, same thing. You know, haulai mudarrisuna, because you have a sound masculine plural. Mudarrisuna, these are teachers. Haulai talibatun, these are female students. Hadihi umi, this is my mother. Hadihi umi. Hada abi, this is my father. And here they, we have to use hadi because it's talibatun, it's a female student. So hadi talibatun, haulai uh, tabibatun. These are doctors, female doctors. And haulai tujarun. These are merchants. Okay. So let's clear everything so we can move to the next page. Okay. Da fin amakin and khariya min ajuman and atiati, domirun monasiman, hua hia hum. So put in the empty space, in the empty spaces, Amakan is the gem of Makan. Makan. Makan, you mean a place, so Amakan is places. And Khariya, Khari is describing it. So Khalin means empty. And it, uh, it also, it has to, so if you remember that um, um, non human or, you know, uh, plurals that, do, uh, that don't possess an intellect, that they're غير aqil then we use uh, a feminine, you know, if we're using a nat, like an adjective, we're going to make it feminine, okay, with the, in order to describe that thing. So um, I, could, I could write it, what it's uh, normally, what khadan looks like, um, just to make it clear. So, so this is khadan, and khadan has a kasratain. This is how it, this is how the word is. And it means empty, void, you know, um, unoccupied, and like that. So, in order to make it feminine, to agree with a makin, because a makin is something which is right you know, you know, he doesn't possess an intellect, and it's a plural. So, the rule is that we have to use uh, the nat has to be. We have to make the nat the nat the adjective uh, feminine. So. What what happens is because inside the root there is this this yeah, so when you take a you know a word like this that has a you know you see uh, its final letter and it has a kasratain under it, um, when you put it in a feminine form you're gonna end up with this yeah, so it's khaliya khaliya, and here's khaliya too because it's definite. Well khaliya t because of the harf jar, da'atin amakinan khaliya t. So put in the empty spaces, for the empty, um, you know, because um, Macan is a place, or so the empty places or spaces. Da put or place for the Macan and Khariyati, Minan Jumun and Atiyati from the following sentences, Domirun Munasiman, appropriate or fitting Domir. You know, so if you remember Domir meaning a noun or a pronoun, which is like, you know, Hua, he, he, or she, whom, they, uh, masculine, Hunna they feminine. Okay, so we're gonna uh, look at this here. So men had rajulu. Men had rajulu. So who is this man? Okay, so we're talking about a man. So we couldn't, it wouldn't make sense. We can't use here. You know, that means she. We can't use hunna. And we can't use whom because it's not plural. It's one man. Men had rajulu. So the proper, you know, pronoun to use would be huwa. He is our teacher. Where are the uh, female students? So we're talking about female students. So we're going to be saying they. And we're going to be, so it's plural and it's feminine. So we have to use hunna. 
So hunna fin fasli, hunna fin fasli. Men ha ula and fitiyatu. Who are these young men? Okay, and what would make sense? Whom? You know, they, masculine. Whom abna un mudarisi. They are the, the um, sons of the teacher. Aina toribatun jadidatu. Where is the new female student? Okay, so it's one female student. So we'd, we, when we, uh, you know, in the following sentence, we would use he. He the maktabati. She is in the maktabati. Okay. Okay. Men have Latin nest. Who are these people? Okay. So we're, we're using a, a masculine form, and nest just, you know, generally is you know, masculine. So, um, you know, so you would use that, like, unless you, if it's strictly a group of women, then you would use an nisa. You would say, how will that in nisa? But if there's, like I said, if there's one man in that group, there's a group of women, well, one man there, then you would, you would use whom. Okay, so we're going to talk about whom. We're using a masculine form. They, whom? Hujjajun minan Hind. They are pilgrims. You need to make people make a hajj from Hind, from India. Whom? Hujjajun minan Hind. Aina tobi batu. Where are the female doctors? So the feminine uh, plural, you know, they is going to be hunna. Hunna fin mustashfar wilada. They are at the maternity hospital. Men had the waladun ladi kharaja min baitika. Who is this this boy? Which aladi or who aladi kharaja min baitika? Min baitika. He exited or came out of your house. Okay, so we're talking about one uh, male. So we had to use huwa. Huwa, huwa benu akhi. He is the son of my brother. So he's my nephew. Huwa benu akhi. Men, uh, men aina hawla ed duyufu. Where are these guests from? Okay, so this is masculine. So masculine, yani is awesome. Yani, unless it was uh, something to indicate that they're uh, female, so we use whom. Whom men are riyad. They are from riyad. Men, men aina hawla ed mumaridatu. From where are these female uh, nurses? Yeah, and so it's, as we see, it's a, it's a sound. When you see this, this ah, and the ta, this open ta at the end, then you know this is the sound, uh, feminine plural, okay? Min aina hawla mumaridatu, these uh, female nurses. So we'd have to use hunna. Hunna min al-Philippine. Philippine, they're from the Philippines, min al-Philippine, okay? And you know, if you notice that there is no uh, P sound in Arabic, like some people uh, um, have tried to invent uh, one, uh, but so usually we use a ba when it's a, a female, men of Philippine, okay? Men had the fatatu, who is this uh, young uh, young woman? Men had the fatatu, so as we're talking about one young woman, so we use here, here, bintu mudarisati, she is the daughter of the female teacher. Here, bint and mudarisati. Okay, now, so now, Hati, Jam al Asma al Atiati. So, Hati means bring. And Hati, Yani, is uh, always, this is, this is the form that it comes in. Like, it's not uh, necessarily derived from anything else. It's, you're going you're gonna to see, um, you know, always with this Kasra under the Te. Hati means, means bring. Okay, Hati, Jam al uh, the plurals, uh, the plural of al asmad atiyati, the of the following nouns. Okay, so we have uchtun. So now they want to see that you know your plurals. So if, you know if you if you if you don't remember, you can always look back through the text and look for the plural of uchtun. Uchtun, uh, the plural will be echawatun. Echawatun. So just you know look up you know these plurals so this way you become familiar with them. Bintun, banatun, muslimatun, muslimatun, tabibatun, tabibatun. To be bun, to be um, it was not to be buna. You don't use the sound masculine plural. It's a tibbau, a tibbau, a zaujun, okay, as wajun, zaujatun, zaujatun, fatatun, fatayatun, kabiratun, kibarun, tawilatun, tiwarun, jadidatun, jududun, you know, akhun, ikhwatun, kabirun, kibarun, jadidun, jududun. So notice there is no change with uh. These, you know, like kibar, um, tiwal, and judud between masculine and feminine. You know, you use the, you could use the same uh, adjectives. Okay. And like I said, if you if you forget anything, just look back in the text, and you can find 
and and also right here you see um like for zelj like they asked you what's the plural of uh zelj here and it's as wajun right as wajun whereas the plural for zeljatun would be zeljat you make it a sound uh feminine plural zeljatun let me say that zeljatun okay all right asma and isharati then qareeb so the nouns for uh um indicating uh, something which is close okay we have um yeah i forget what they call, they call it in english uh, in english grammar but uh so have a this is a a, a male student these are male students had he taught this is a female student had he taught these are female students and Kalimat Jadida, so new uh, new words. So we have a Zelju, and you, this gene you see here is indicating uh, what comes after it is the Jama, the plural. So this is the short for Jama. Okay, a Zelju, Zelju is the husband, the Jama is as Wajun, as Wajun, it's husbands. Okay? And Maratu, the woman, is has a, a plural which is not, it comes from a different root. This plural is comes from a completely different root, so it might throw you off a little bit. So, and Mar'atu is the woman, so remember uh, Imratun. We can write that rule for you. Okay. Imratun. Imratun is the uh, nakira, you know, the indefinite form. So, you know, a woman. Imratun, when you make it, and so you notice the te with the teskil. So the meme actually has a sukun over it. Imra, fatha over ra, fatha over the alif, imraatun. But when you make it ma'rifa, um, when you make it um, definite, then this uh, meme gets a fatha, the ra gets a sukun, the alif gets a, uh, keeps its fat, and the alif keeps its fatha. So it becomes a maratu, the woman. The woman and the jama, the plural was nisa on this woman, nisa on. Okay, so oh, they actually are oh, so they have it right here. Okay, maratu biduni alafnam without the alafnam, imratun, imratun. Okay, karibun means close. Okay, right along. Let's see, gene section. Okay, so now they're introducing ulaika. Ula'ika is the ism al-ishara lil ba'id. It's the, um, the, you know, the noun which indicates or points something out that's far, lil ba'id. Yani, so this is the plural of dharika and tinka, that. Okay, so this this is going to translate as those, because yani, you're indicating people that are not, you know, close to, the, you know, the far away. You're like those people over there, right? So ha'ula'i. So these are my brothers. So he's indicating, so his brothers are within close range to him. And those are my friends. So his friends are, you know, farther away. So he says, he uses, and those are my friends. So who are those tall men? Whom atibba'u? Min America, they are doctors from America. Umatibau min America. Men ulaikan nisa'u, who are those women? Men ulaikan nisa'u, hunna umuhat talibat. They are the mothers. So this notices the sound a female a feminine plural. Um umuhat talibati. They are the mothers of the female students. Aba tulabi and al mudiri. The fathers of the male students are with the headmaster. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, this is the plural. I'm oh, sorry, we forget. so um, uh, umuhat is the plural of um umun. Um, so umuhat is mothers. The plural of abun. The plural of ab is abaun. Abaun fathers. So this is abaun. This is idafa. Abaun tulabi. The fathers of the uh, male stu students, they are with the headmaster and the mudiri. Are these women 
your maternal aunts all marry them. So this is the plural of, if you remember, khala, khalatun is a, a maternal aunt. So khalat actually takes the, uh, the sound feminine plural. So, so it comes from, khalatun, khalatun, okay, is, is this, um, the maternal aunt. So the plural form is khalatun. Khalatun, okay? And because it is kaf, this, uh, we only can have one haraka here, so it's khalatuki, tuki, because we're talking to Maryam. Are these women your uh, maternal aunts, O Maryam? La hunna amati. So see, this is the plural for the uh, paternal aunts on the father's side. Hunna amati. No, they are my paternal aunts. So that um, it actually has the uh, sound feminine plural. Okay, so that's from, uh, let's put it here. Remember, Am was a uh, paternal uncle. So Am is a paternal aunt. And its plural is, you just put it in the sound masculine uh, plural, Ammatun, Ammatun, okay? So these are our doctors, and those are engineers. Okay. Okay, so these are, sorry, is on the same form. Okay. These are doctors, and these are engineers. These men فقراؤ, are poor وَأُولَئِكَ أَغْنِيَاءُ And these are, are rich, and it's referring to a group of men. أَغْنِيَاءُ أُولَئِكَ تُلَابُ ضِعَافٌ ضِعَافٌ So this is something new that they're giving you. Um, so let me go ahead and put it uh, here. It's a new word. Okay. It comes from ضِعَافٌ ضَعِيفٌ ضَعِيفٌ Like if you're familiar, like, if you, you know, listening to like the... Uh, uh, like this, uh, the scholars talk about, you know, a hadith is da'if and he's weak, okay, meaning like the chain is weak or something about the text is weak. So da'ifun would mean, and I'll put the test kill for you, da'ifun, okay, da'if, oops, da'ifun means weak, and it's plural, it's jama'ah. Is the iPhone. So notice, like it didn't go into a sound masculine or sound feminine plural. It's it's a broke. It's, it also has a broken plural. It goes into a different wasn't a the pi a pi a lun lun wasn't. Okay. So the iPhone weak. The iPhone is weak weak ones. You know, like meaning you know, it's describing uh, a group of people that are weak. Okay. The iPhone. Okay. So ulaik ulaikan tulabu the the iPhone. These students are weak. You know, they probably mean they're weak in their studies and their grades and everything. Are not not too good. Okay, those students. Men Who are these men? Whom Whom They are uh, ministers. Wuzara is the plural of wazir. Put that if you real quick. Wazirun, and then it's Jama' is Wuzara'u. Okay, and notice that this is the form that doesn't have Tanween. Okay, so Wazirun, minister, Wuzara'u, ministers. Okay, it can mean like minister of health, like usually like a government official, you know, not a meaning like a minister in a, in a church, like, you know, it's it's in like minister of defense, uh, minister of health, you know, Wazir, Wasiha, Wazir Difa'a. You know, uh, you know, the prime minister like would have, you would hear use this word wazir, and wuzara means the ministers. You know, wuzara, okay, like wuzara al rais, the the president's ministers, wuzara al rais. Okay, so let's uh, clear that so we can move along. Here we go. Tamarinu, okay, exercises. How the mubtada fi kullin min al jumla al atiyati ila jamain ma tagiri. 
So change the um, subject in each of the following sentences to a jama' to a plural, with changing what is necessary, whatever you know is necessary that you have to change. Okay. So here's the example: midalun, dari That man is a teacher. So you see, we had to change dharika to ulaika to uh, indicate that it's plural. And you change rajul to rijal, the, the uh, plural of rajul. And mudaris got changed to mudarisuna, mudarisuna to teachers. So those men are teachers. So we're going to do that with each one of these sentences. And like I said, if you can look back in the book, if you forgot the plurals in any of these words, just, you know, just look it up. So like men daddy can... Um, Fata, you know, Daddy Fata, who's that young man? And so we got, so we got to make this. Who are these young men? Oh, I'm sorry, who, who's that young? Who are those? Because it's Ismaili Shara bin Baid. So who are those young men? So we had, so we make it. Ulaikan um, men, Ulaikan um, uh, fitiatu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, men, men, uh, Ulaikan fitiatu. No, yeah, men can fit you to who are those young men? Okay. Men Aina Dari can mudarisu. From where is this teacher? Where is this teacher from? Okay. So we would change that from Men Aina, you know, Darika, we change it to Ulaika. And we make a mudaris mudarisu and mudarisu men men aina ulaika mudarisuna. Okay. Tinkan fatatu binta tobibi. This uh, young girl, she is the daughter of the doctor. So we're gonna make it daughters of the doctor right so so we can use tinka we we change tinka to ulaika and we use a fatatu to a fatayatu to his plural and then we change bent to banatu you know banatu tobibi they are the daughters of the doctor okay had the talibu min in gitara uh wadarika min france so this student he's from he's a male student he's from england and that that one he's from france so we're going to make this plural. So Hada becomes, so this is Ismaili Ishara bin, bin Qareeb. So you don't use Ula'ika, we, uh, we change it to Ha'ula'i. So Ha'ula'i Tulabu, change Talab to Tulab, min in Kantara, in Kantara, so you can Kantara also for England. So these male students are from uh, uh, England. And then Darika, we change to. We change it to Ulaika. Ulaika min France. Adarika muhandisu Muslimun is that engineer a Muslim? So we want to make this plural. So Darika changes to Ulaika. Ulaika muhandisuna. It takes a sound masculine plural. And muhandisuna are these engineers Muslimuna? You're also going to make that plural. Muslimuna are they Muslims? Okay. Hadihan maratu mumaridatun. So this woman is a nurse and that woman is a doctor. So we would change that. We got to make it these women, right? Hadihi, we change to ha'ulai. Amara, we has to become the plural, has to become woman. So we make it anisa'u. So ulai can nisa'u, mumari. So we can't just leave it as a singular nurse. It has to become nurses. So we give it the sound feminine plural. Mumaridatun, okay. Ulaika nisa mumaridatun. Um, Utimka changes to ulaika, wa ulaika to be batun. You also give this a sound feminine plural, to be batun. Generally, anything you see where you make it feminine by giving a term of buta, then you can make it plural and feminine by giving it the uh, elephant at the end, to be batun, okay, and make it a sound uh, feminine plural. Men had the water the toiru. Who is this tall boy? Men had the water the toiru. Okay, so we're gonna change this. So hada becomes awlai, right? Wadad becomes awlad, and toiru becomes tiwal. So men ha awlad in awladu at tiwadu at tiwadu. Okay, who are these tall boys? Okay, tinkal fata to sagira to uchtu hamidan. So this. I'm sorry, that um, young girl, Ismail uh, Ishara bin Baid, this uh, young girl, she is the daughter of Hamid. So we're going to make it plural. So Tinka becomes Ula'ika, Al Fatatu becomes Al Fatayatu, Al Sagir becomes Al Sigaru, Al Sigaru, 
and ukht becomes akhawat, akhawat hamil. So you got so you got a few things you got to change. So ulaikal fatayat sigaru sigaru akhawatu hamilan. Okay. Tinkal maratu umat taribati. This uh, woman, she is the mother of the female student. So tinka, to make a plural, make it ulaika. Mara becomes an nisa, and um become um, becomes umuhat, and taliba becomes a talibat. So it would be ulaika nisa umuhat a talibat umuhat a talibat. Okay. ذلك الرجل عالم كبير من المملكة العربية السعودية. That man is a big scholar, and he's a big time scholar from the uh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So we're going to make all, all this plural. Yeah, and so Darika uh, becomes Ulaika. Uh, so Ulaika Rijalu. So those men, Ulaika Rijalu. And Adam, it can take a, a sound masculine plural, but it also has a broken plural, which I don't, I don't, I don't think I haven't seen them use it yet here. So um, me, uh, I'm sure, you know, you probably heard the term before. But it's Ulama Ulama. Ulama is the plural of Adam, or you can say Ani Ani Muni. You know, it does take that. It can take the sound masculine plural. So we say Ulai Karijalu Ulama Un Ulama Un Kabi. So Kabir can no longer be Kabir. It has to become Kibar. Okay, Kibarun. So Ulama Kibarun Min Mamlakat Al Arabiya to Saudi from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Okay. أشير إلى الأسماء الآتية باسم اسمي إشارة تن بعيد ذلك تنك ملائكة. So um, <coughs> so we're going to indicate to the uh, following uh, nouns using اسم إشارة تن بعيد or you know اسم إشارة for what is distant, what is far than بعيد, which is ذلك تنك ملائكة. So you just look at the word that we're indicating, and that, then you'll know which one you have to use. So طالبون is a is a single Male students, so you would use the single ismul uh, ishara than ba'id, which is darika. Darika taribun. Okay, that is a, a male student. Okay, tujarun is the plural of, of tajir, so we have to use a plural. So we use ulaika. Ulaika tujarun. Those or yani those are um, uh, we call merchants. Okay, and businessmen. Okay, and same thing here. Bumarisatun. It's a female teachers. It's but it's, it's a group. Is a plural, so we have to use ulaika. Ulaika mudarisatun. Those are female teachers. Okay, here we have tobibatun jadidatun, a new uh, female doctor. So since it's female and it's singular, we use tobka. Tinka tobibatun jadidatun. Okay, umuhat toribati. So the mothers of the students. So we would use ulaika umuhat toribat. You know, because it's plural, right? So those are the mothers of the female students. Okay. We have Aba Utulabi, the fathers of the male students. Aba Utulabi, since it's plural, we have to use Ulaika. Ulaika, Aba Utulabi. Those are the fathers of the male students. Okay. Okay. Fallahun is singular, a farmer. So use Darika. Darika Fallahun. Um Muhammad. So this is Idafa. So just pay attention. So Um, the mother of Muhammad. So we're talking about the mother, the mother of Muhammad. So it's feminine. Tinka umu Muhammad. Sadiqi. Yeah, this is a masculine. My friend. Sadiqi. So you use darika. Darika sadiqi. Akhwati. My sisters. Akhwati. So we have to use the plural. Ulaika. Ulaika akhwati. Those are my sisters. Okay. And then we have ikhwati. My brothers. So it's uh, still plural. So we still use ulaika. Ulaika ikhwati. Okay, let's clear it out. Hati, jam al So notice, like when he, you start getting used to uh, certain, um, uh, uh, you know, certain words, they stop giving you the uh, test key. Like, you know, like before, when they first gave it to you, they gave you the, you know, it was a kasra under the ta, and here they expect you to know it. You see, there's no kasra there. So, hati, this is as you progress through the book, you can read. You know, you start to be able to read the words without the test keel, and you know how where the test keel goes based on the context. 
Hati jam'an kalimat al-atiyati. So bring the plural of the following words. So you have um, umun. So then if, remember that if, you, could, if you, you could look for it, and it's actually right up here, umuhat, umuhatun, okay? It has a sound uh, feminine plural. Okay? Umun, umuhatun. So mother, a mother, umuhatun, mothers. Abun, the plural. Abaun, abaun, okay? Imratun, and remember imratun, has a, it's, it's um, plurals from a whole different root. So imratun, the plural was nisa'un, nisa'un. Ammatun gets a sound feminine plural. Ammatun, of the paternal aunt. Ammatun, ammatun. Da'ifun has, um, uh, da'ifun, as we uh, we went over, you always want to, you know, you can go back if you forget something. We was, they were talking about the students. We said, okay, here it is. So just go back to the text if you forgot something and just and just look for it and you know to help you to recognize these words. So the afun is the plural of da'if. Da'ifun jam'uhu the afun. Wazirun, the jama is you actually have it right here. Wuzara'u, It's with one haraka at the end. Okay, it doesn't have a ten wing. And ismun asma'un. Asma'un is the plural. Okay, and so So once you, because because basically you're seeing that this this form, this wasn when it comes in this form, it doesn't have uh, ten ween at the end. So astiqa'u, if you remember, astiqa'u is the plural of sadiq, which is friend. So friends, astiqa'u. Aqniya'u is the plural of ghaniyun. Ghaniyun meaning rich. So aqniya'u is is rich in the plural. Aqwiya'u uh, is the plural of qawi, qawiyun, you know, meaning strong, qawiyun, so the plural is aqwiya'u. Atibba'u, doctors, these is the plural of tabibun, tabibun, okay, so doctors. Fuqara'u, this poor people, is the plural of faqirun, okay, fuqara'u. Zumala'u is the plural of zamilun, uh, which, you know, so this is classmates. Wuzara'u is the plural of wazirun. Okay, and uh, ulama'u is the plural of alimun, alimun. So you see, they don't all follow. If you look at the singular form, they don't all follow the same pattern. So it's so it's just basically something you got to know. Like in some cases, it does. Like you know, tobibun, and you look at zamilun, you know, wazirun, taqirun, um, sadiqun. Whereas like alimun, it's not the same pattern as the. The singular is for, form for the other words. Qawiyun, ghaniyun. Ghaniyun and qawiyun is similar. No, so, is, so you know, you don't always know the plural, plural just looking at the at the noun, like what was it's going to go into. It's something you have to learn for each particular word. Okay. Asma' al isharati the ba'id. Okay, so the, the noun for indicating for the, uh, what, what is for, at ba'id. Okay, we have the mufrad and al jama'. So mufrad is singular. Al jama' plural. Al mudakr. Darika taribun. That is of a male student. Darika taribun. Ula'ika tulabun. Okay. Ula'ika is the ism al ishara al ba'id. Jama' is the plural. Okay. So those are male students. Tinka taribatun. Mu'annat. So mu'annat yani means feminine. So tinka, that is a female student. Ula'ika taribatun. Those are female students. Okay. Muhammadan Dahaba. Muhammad, he went. Muhammadan Muhammadan Mu'aliyun Dahabu. So when you have three or more, then it becomes, uh, then you use the gem, you use the plural. Because remember in Arabic, we also have a dual form. Right. So, but we just said Muhammadun Muhammadun, we couldn't use Dahabu. We'd have to use the conjugation for the dual form. But here we, it's the jam when it's three or more people. Okay, so Muhammadun, Muhammadun, wa Ariun, Dahabu. So that's the male, they uh, went. Okay, Dahabu, they went. Maryam, Maryamu, Dahabat, Dahabat, she went. Okay, so remember when you want to make it she, you know, here um, in the, the three letter um, verb or conjugation, you just put the ta at the, at the end. After the last letter with a sukun on it, that have that she was, and that will indicate she went. Maryamu wa Amina tu wa Fatima tu the habna. So Maryam, so we have three or more a woman, so we have to use 
the uh, the feminine uh, plural, right? So it's Mariamu Aminatu with Fatimatu the Habna. They went feminine. Yani this is the conjugation for Hunna in the past tense. And Kalimat Jadida, Da'ifun Jama and Da'ifa would be for you know feminine. Yani you just put a term of the Da'ifa. The Jama is the Afun, the Afun. Okay. Umun Jama Umuhatun. Okay. So mother, Jama Umuhatun mothers. Okay. Abun father, Jama Abaun, Abaun fathers. Okay. Qawiyun, the Jama is Aqwiyau, Aqwiyau. Alimun is a scholar. And the Jama is Ulama'u. It's also, um, you find as Jews that can mean a scientist. You know, anyone who has to do with, you know, and like sometimes you'll find like, just like if somebody works in the Ulum, they're referring to science. So, you know, an Adam can be, Alimun can also mean a science and ulama can mean scientists. You know, so you just got to look at the context. Like they might not be talking about Ulama'u deen, you know, scholars in the deen, okay? No. All right, and that wraps it up for the 13th lesson. I hope you... Uh, like and benefited, um, please uh, like uh, and subscribe to the channel and share. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Jazakallah khairan. Wa barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.